welcome to the video guys this is the frostful barbarian class breakdown let's get right into it so the first passive and yes i will be showing all of the passives first is called the festive suit this reduces damage taken by 15 percent and the next passive is called barbaric this increases haste by 50 percent which will speed up the rate of attack for your character both of these passives are available at rank 4 of the class and just so you guys are made aware there is a rank 10 passive as well called gifted which will increase your strength by 20%. The recommended enhancements for this class is full fighter. However, I will be using fighter for almost all my items but one. I will be using lock on my head for this video. Without further ado, guys, let's get into the skills for this class. All right then, guys. So skill number one is called barbaric strike. Barbaric strike has a three second cooldown and is a physical skill. It deals 100% of your weapon damage to up to three targets and it cannot miss, but it cannot crit at the same time. So of course, it's always good not to miss your shots but at the same time you're not going to be able to get in a critical strike which may be the differentiating factor between this class and some other classes with a slightly higher damage output. Definitely an interesting skill though for an auto attack. Alright then guys, so for skill number two you have Frostfall Gifts. Frostfall Gifts cost 20 mana to use and has a 5 second cooldown. It is also a physical skill. So Frostfall Gifts gives you and up to 4 allies a heal over time that lasts 10 seconds. If you're enraged, instead you get a Frozen Beard. Frozen Beard reduces yours and up to 3 allies damage taken by 30 percent for 10 seconds so if your health is running low and you're farming in a party which is what this class is most predominantly for from my experience with it you probably want to avoid skill number five until you have your health back up otherwise you can use skill number five to apply enrage which will actually reduce the damage taken for you and up to three allies by 30 percent for 10 seconds definitely a really cool skill guys you've got to be very careful how you use them though. all right then guys so the third skill is called winter's depressed Winter's Depress costs 20 mana and has an 8 second cooldown. This is, of course, a physical skill. So, you can depress your foe with a non-damaging Wintry Blast. Reduces up to 3 opponents' haste by 20% for 10 seconds, and this stacks up to 4. So, it would seem that you have 10 seconds to get as many stacks in as possible. And I'm assuming that by each stack that you put on, you will get another 20% haste reduced from your opponent. I actually noticed a great difference using this skill over and over. It definitely helps to stack this skill so that your opponent gets slowed down. Of course, this will be effective on up to three opponents in the room. So once again, this class makes for a very, very good group farming class. All right then, guys. So skill four is called Silver Thor slash more slash jaw. That's a handful, right? This skill has an eight second cooldown at a cost of absolutely no mana whatsoever. This is, of course, a physical skill. So at the cost of no mana, you can heal yourself for 20 mana. It applies Silver Thor, Silver Maw, and Silver Jaw to yourself and four allies. Silver Thor reduces mana costs by 15%. Silver Maw increases crit chances by 10%, which by the ways will be only increased for your party members as this class is incapable of doing crits. And Silver Jaw increases crit damage by 20%. Once again, you will not be able to do any crits for your party members. All three effects last 10 seconds and stack up to four. So remember guys, once again, it is important to get those stacks. All right then guys, skill number five, the final skill. This is called in Enra now we discussed this earlier as it does have some effects on skill number three This will cost you 10 mana with a three second cooldown and this is a magical skill So apart from the others, this is a magical deals 300% weapon damage to up to three targets and applies in rage in rage lasts 10 seconds while enraged your haste is reduced by 100% But your damage is increased by 100% also removes frostfall gifts in rage can't crit but can't miss All right, then guys so to run it down it cannot crit much like the entire class Class. standalone it can't crit it will remove frostful gifts so do not use skill number two before using this skill directly it will reduce your haste by 100%, which means you're going to be a lot slower. However, you will deal much more damage. This skill will only affect yourself, so it's, so it's more of a selfish skill, more of a physical damage output skill. And remember, 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 do not use this skill straight after using skill number two, especially if your teammates are on low HP and you're trying to get them back up. In battle. All right then guys, so to conclude this video, my preferred combination for this class is 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, 5. This favoured me most with the cooldown rates and it works best in a farming environment with a group of people, which in correlation to the class just makes the most sense. So yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this class guide in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys soon.